I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right now. You know how you said like, yo, this episode might be blah blah. I take this on my feet up. <laughs> we gotta pump out this content. <laughs> we gotta pump out this content. <laughs> this hot this hot content. This episode is just us, me and Linji just on the couch watching television. <laughs> Welcome to the worst Asian podcast where a couple Asian American millennials give you our shitty opinions on all things Asian. My name is Linji, here in quarantine. I'm here with my co-host remotely, Ben. Yo, hello. <laughs> hello again. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? People that have listened to us for a while, they know I fucking hate Zoom slash internet video shit. Yeah. And how much time did we just waste trying to get this working? Um... We started at 9.30. It only took us 45 minutes. 45 minutes you. to get to the intro. You. To get to the intro. You know, it's okay. <sighs> <laughs> Yo, you are so tired. <laughs> Yo, this is the latest we've ever recorded. What time is this, it right now? I was going to say. It's 10 p.m. It's 10. And I know people are perfectly fine at 10 p.m. But me, like, this yep. is when I start winding down. This is when I'm about to get ready to sleep. If I in any way sound normal to you listeners, please... Venmo me some money as thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? It's, I like it's like, yo, guys, leave us a comment saying, yo, thank you, Luigi, for pumping out, you know, a late hour. He's like, no, just give me money. Do you know why we're doing this remotely? Uh, well, actually. I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah that's a stupid question. So um, <laughs> I'm under quarantine. Yep. You know, it's funny. For those that don't know, they think you got COVID. 3P champion. That's right, baby. <laughs> All the way, baby. Going for that 4 Pete. Kobe. I had a lot of people send us messages on social media saying, hey, was it a Team Korea this time or was it Team China? Damn. That's fucked up. But this is some <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan shit. Plot twist. <laughs> 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 the actual person with COVID, Team Half Hong Kong and Team Half Taiwan, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but are you feeling okay though, right? I'm feeling fine. I personally tested negative. My son tested negative. So we're all good. My wife tested positive. Yeah. So she is under quarantine and in isolation in our bedroom, which means yep. I am now, I mean, I was always a full-time dad, but now I am literally a 24-7 dad all by myself. He's probably right next to you as we speak. You're like looking at him like, yeah, just go to sleep. I'm even in a different part of my house recording on a lower level on the opposite side of the house so that I don't wake him up at 10 p.m. at night. Oh, that's why you did this. Yeah, that's why ah. I'm in a completely different room. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, side note, normally when we record, we sit on my dining room table chairs, like upright. Right now, yeah. I'm on like a little sofa recliner thing, yeah, Bob. I see that. Yo, we need to do this. You know, they look really comfortable. And they have like the shits like here, like right here to them. And they can just like move it around. Put your fucking mic back. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> In case uh, the audio sounds weird, blame Zoom. We use Riverside to record, but that shit didn't work. And now we're on, we defaulted back to Zoom. Yep. And Ben doesn't have one of these regular mics, obviously, that we use. So yep. if it sounds like shit, just blame Ben. Yeah. It's like, no, nah, Linji didn't get COVID. Ben has it. We even had to cancel an interview that we had lined up for Sunday. Yeah, we had Barack Obama. He <laughs> was going to come by. That's not yeah. on brand. We need the Asian Barack Obama. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. He was born in Hawaii. There you go. We'll take it. Barack Obama, default Asian. <laughs> <laughs> We're just pillaging everything. All right, this is very last minute, so we're going to do a completely random episode. Um, we posted a question on our Instagrams asking for you to send us, the host, some questions that we can just quickly talk about this week because I'm all about that content. doesn't matter if my <laughs> wife has COVID. We're going to pop out an episode no matter what. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. I have an excuse, but this is when you normally wake up, so you should be wide awake. I'm just going to be like, hey, guys, next question. <laughs> just, it's just like really <laughs> ob obnoxious. This is my evening. This is your morning right now, 10 p.m. I feel like it's the morning right now. Even though like on the outside it's like it's dark, I'm like, no, this is like 6 a.m. right now. So you better have more energy than I am because I just, I'm going into... <laughs> Bro, I, I can see it in your fucking face. <laughs> you look like you're going to pass out. Like <laughs> You're like at your snuggie in your back and shit. You're like, yo. All right, let's keep this shit short so I don't have to edit a two-hour episode, please. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's keep it short. It's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> you're like, you're at a point where you're so defeated. You're like, yeah. 
because this came at the worst time. We went through our whole back catalog and we have nothing. And I'm all about putting out shitty content every single week. So we're going to do... This episode's different. We're going to be doing a review. <laughs> a on, review uh, of what? What do you have laying around that I should have? Oh, I have an avocado squishy plush doll. Okay, let's start with that. All right, so... Fuck I, that I segment. Like I don't want to edit this shit out. Let's get to the questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell them what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Okay, we're doing a Ask Me Anything segment. I was asking Ben for a, like, not a pun, but... Wordplay. Wordplay. Do a Asian wordplay with AMA. Asian me anything. Ask me Asian thing. Yes. A- Asian <laughs> more Asian. <laughs> that, I think that's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's some kind of podcast. AMA is just where people ask random questions to people. So I got a couple of random questions from a uh, story that we posted the other day on social media. By the way, do you know what AMA stands for? AMA? Ask me anything. I literally told you to <laughs> give me a wordplay on AMA. Are you awake? <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sprinkle in some questions that I have along with the listener questions. I guess we'll start with some actual real listener questions. Yep. All right, Ben. What is a guilty pleasure that you have? Oh, man. A guilty pleasure. Isn't every pleasure by default guilty? I had the same idea. I was like, wait a minute. Technically, everything that I enjoy is technically guilty. 2021, Linji loved alcohol, but that shit's bad for your liver. Yeah. Food technically in some ways bad for you, right? Like sugar and fats and shit like that. Yes, what yes. What else do people enjoy besides food and liquor? Reading? Actually, reading might be the one thing. It's like, oh, you can never read too much until you go blind. Like your vision is so Reading's bad. Reading's bad for your eyes. Don't read too much, everyone. Exercising. You can break a bone. Also, did you know? <laughs> do you know about that kid that uh, he exercised so much that his muscles were like atrophy to the point like it was going into his kidneys? This is not me asking. This is 10 p.m. Lindsay asking. What does atrophy mean? Atrophy means when uh, it just withers away. Okay. <laughs> it's like when people are in bed for too long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they get bedridden and shit. There, there you, you go. go. See? <laughs> uh, guys, I just um, this is just shows you Lindsay's dedication. Right here. I'm so this fucking man, tired. Yo, I'm looking at Linji right now. His eyes are so puffy and they're just glazed. Like, they're so glassy. Ah, well, your <laughs> your eyes are glassy, but for different reasons, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back, back to the fucking question. We're on question one and we're like so far in already. Guilty pleasures. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy eating a whole pint of ice cream. <laughs> oh, shit. Why? There's like these large sized bags of chips from the Chinese supermarket. It's, is it a Korean brand or a Japanese brand? Kalbi? Which one? C-A-L-B-E-E. Yeah. Is that Korean? It's the shrimp characters. Yeah, it's Korean. It's Korean? Oh, fuck. It's okay. Korea will forgive you, Liji. <laughs> Damn. I was going to give props to China because I would be at the Chinese supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when you're, when you're editing this, you're going to be like, man, I am. <laughs> you're gonna be like, I sound really awesome. stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I can like demolish a whole bag of uh, that barbecue kalbi chip. Oh, the shit. jumbo size. You mean the family? Yeah, the mega, the mega one. I can just go through that whole thing in one sitting. Damn, mine is. Um, I enjoy eating ice cream, especially at night. But the thing is, I'll eat the whole thing, and then after I'm done, I'm just like, "You fat fuck." <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm empty. The spoon is like in it. I'm like, man, I fucked up. And then you do the same thing the following night. I do. God damn you, Hagen does. I love it. This actually goes into a, another question someone asked. Okay. By the way, I'll just be straight <laughs> up. So we posted the story and then, you know, I get the notifications throughout the day and I look at them. I'm like, good. We have enough questions to fill a whole episode. Great. Turns out when stories disappear, so do the answers to those replies. <laughs> I also have a new revelation. I like Morning Linji. <laughs> There's a huge difference. <laughs> so we, we don't have shit. I wrote down a bunch of these questions from what I remember people writing when I looked at the notifications. I'm almost 100% positive once I post this episode, someone's going to tell me, oh, you can check your old story replies by pressing this button. Right now, 10 p.m. Linji cannot figure this shit out. So I wrote down what I remember people asking. The only negative about this is I can't give credit to the person who, who asked the question. So gotcha. I apologize. If you care that much, please DM me. I will give you credit. <laughs> Not money, though. Hell no, not money. <laughs> 10 p.m. Linji, mad cheap. By the way, if people don't know, 
please check up on our episode about the money episode. It is hilarious. You find Linji's net value, <laughs> net worth, actually. It's going to blow your mind. That's like an ongoing shtick. One of the replies to me asking someone for questions was, I think someone just asked, give me a bag of money. I fucking love it. It's happening. Everyone's in on these shitty jokes. What was I saying? Uh, how the, what the fuck did we tangent off? How do we tangent off of questions? I think guilty pleasures. This leads into a, another question. Um, The food thing. The thing. Um, Sorry, I'm just freezing right now. Oh, shit. I, you, I, 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 I actually just lagged there. I was waiting for you. Yeah, my brain was Holy lagging. Bullshit. I was just like, network connectivity issues. Uh, that leads into another question. What is something that other people think is great, but you actually think is shit? Um, Can I start? And I'm probably going to piss yeah, off yeah, a lot of people. I'm not into K-dramas. Oh, okay. I'm really not into it. I tried it. We got canceled. <laughs> All right, Ben, can you produce this podcast all by yourself when I get canceled? <laughs> nope. We're canceled. <laughs> so by default, whenever I get canceled, this whole podcast gets canceled. Sayonara. <laughs> I don't want to just say it's K-dramas. You know, that whole category. Hong Kong has TVBs, which is, in my mind, the equivalent of K-dramas. There are C dramas as well. Like that whole category of soap opera. Just like Asian dramas. Yeah, but like, is Squid Game a K-drama? Oh, shit. How do you define a K-drama as opposed to like just a Korean show? Or is every show in oh, Korea by default K-drama? Right. Number one, the girl has to get cancer. <laughs> okay. That's usually what it is, right? Fine. It's usually based off around like a love interest. They start with that, and then someone gets cancer again. <laughs> and then uh, they beat it. <laughs> then someone gets hit by a car. <laughs> and it just derails everything. And then they find out that the brother is actually the father this just sounds like daytime soap operas or like Telemundos. That's kind of what it, I think there was one about like, I Wait, can be so raw. Is it fucking called Telemundos? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my brain is really delayed right now. <laughs> my brain was processing my Telemundo comment for like five seconds. I was like, wait, is that what it's called? I think you mean like telenovela. Telenovela. There you go. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Tu es buen, tu español. <laughs> muy, muy bueno. Oh, shit. You didn't drink, right? I can't drink. I'm just fucking this tired. Linji is just really tired. He's He had a very long weekend as well. What would you pick for something that you uh, think other people like, but you're really not into? I'll be honest. I kind of don't really like using chopsticks. Bro. What? We're getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so this is what happened. I was eating at work. A co-worker just came by. I, mind you, I already have a fork. This motherfucker threw me a pair of chopsticks. Oh, yeah, here. I know you need this. I'm like, bro, I have a fucking fork already. What were you eating, though? Were you eating, like, sushi? It was big ziti. <laughs> it was fucking big ziti, dude. <laughs> and then, like, he thinks you're Italian-Korean. <laughs> I was like, yo, you know that's kind of racist, right? <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, dude. I didn't even think about it, bro. I just had extra, and I want to give it to you. I was like, bro, I don't know how to feel. What's that again? Positive racism? Positive racism. Because he I thought about you. He wanted to help you out, but he did something racist in the meantime. I feel like I know the answer to this one. Are you a, are you more spont spontaneity or stability? Spontaneity? What the fuck is spontaneity? How do I pronounce spot spot sp spontaneous? Spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous combustion or stability. Which one are you? Oh, dude, I am like a basic bitch. I'm really boring. <laughs> Are you spontaneous or are you sporadic? I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm, dude, wait, wait. I'm totally sporadic. Wait, I just what? said the same thing. What's Isn't spontaneous and sporadic <laughs> the same thing? <laughs> you know, we should just make this the episode where our viewers ask Linji at 10 p.m. certain questions. <laughs> I think that's what it should be right now. If point. they ask me for my bank account number, I might just give it. <laughs> Guys, there's a chance right there. <laughs> that's your golden ticket right there. Um, do you care about reviews? Reviews? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I was kind of confused by that, so you gotta have to help me out on that. Uh, yeah, because I remember someone asking something about reviews, so that's all I wrote down. That's why. Are we talking about our podcast or just life in general? See, that's the thing. It was so vague. I was like, we go out to eat, movie reviews, our podcast reviews. I don't really look at the reviews too much in the sense that I know people are assholes, and everyone exactly gets like really pissy about stupid things, and then they rate people badly for that. It's kind of shunned upon, especially. It's like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, I'm a Yelp reviewer. It's like, oh, you could go fuck yourself. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, please, just walk into that highway. To any listeners that are Yelp reviewers, please leave us a five-star review and then talk shit about us in the review. <laughs> also, thank God we're not on Yelp somehow for <laughs> reviews. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, can we be? I don't think it works that way. Uh, do you have any useless, worthless talents? This is a fucking hard question. <laughs> do I have any worthless talents? I think all my talents are worth full. Wow. The humility on this guy is right, Podcasting guys? Podcasting is a talent. God, look at this guy. He's just like, <laughs> being a father is a talent. Having bags of money is a talent. <laughs> Having bags of money? I'm practically Batman. <laughs> I'm just not there yet. <laughs> I'm a fucking basic bitch again. I literally don't think I have any talents. It's kind of sad, I guess. What am I good at? Um, okay, like, you tell me what I'm good at, and I'll tell you what you're good at. Okay, all right. Uh, number one, I always talk about this, and I'm not trying to like ride your dick, all right? So chill out. But when I talk about you, I'm like, yo, Linji is like, he gets his shit done. He doesn't make any excuses, no bullshit. You're kind of like David Goggins without the marathon running every morning. I'm going to pretend like I get that reference. Go ahead. David Goggins is a guy. He's very aggressive. By the way, listen, if you ever feel like shit, just watch any of his clips and it's very motivational. But he was an ex-Navy SEAL. He was a fat dude that was an exterminator. He was depressed, overweight, and fat. Mm -hmm. And he literally just said, you know what? I'm tired of being this fat fucking loser mm -hmm. and just joined the Navy SEALs. And he became like a motivational speaker. He's like, you could do it. But yeah, I would say you're like that. But the main question is, when you saw this guy, how motivated were you to be less? Um, you mean less of a piece of shit? <laughs> Number one. You said uh, it, I didn't. It's fine. Number one. It actually made me depressed. <laughs> So I was like, fuck. That's when I grabbed the Hagen dazs ice cream. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll be a Navy SEAL tomorrow. I could do it. All right, Ben. You are really good at uh, not doing stuff on time. <laughs> <laughs> One of your many talents is always being late. Bro, I don't believe in calendars. <laughs> you don't believe in it's time. It's not real. It's not real, man. <laughs> I see it, and I'm like, okay. That little square on the calendar, I'm like, it's a range. Time is just a conspiracy to keep <laughs> us bonded and keep us chained up. That's how your brain works. So if, if you're going to invite me to something, um, I'll see you the next day. <laughs> All right, moving on. Give me top five favorite movies. Not, I can't do one. Let's do five. Oh, this question I remember. This is from uh, Kat from Southern Asian Baking. She asked, what's our favorite movie? See, that's the thing. You can't do, you can't just pick one favorite movie, can you? So how do you want to do it then? I'll refine the question. I definitely want to hear a comedy movie and action. I already know you don't fuck with like love movies or romance. I don't, I can't. Okay. I think those are pretty good rules. Um, I'm just mm -hmm. going to give you three sci-fi movies instead. Oh, well, <laughs> I was like, oh, those are great, but go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let me just change it now. Thanks. I love sci-fi. I want to be transported to a world that does not exist. God damn. Our motherfucking Martian. Yeah. One of my favorite movies is um, Armageddon. Oh, yeah. I think that's just really, really nostalgic. I remember watching that as a kid and thinking, fuck, I don't want to be an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, technically, it's like a love story, too. Mm -mm. Don't fucking go there. Yo, you, yo, you're like, yo, fuck that. <laughs> I also like Sunshine. Do you remember that? I do remember that movie. That's the one with uh, Chris Evans, a.k.a. Captain America. It was in space again. Yes. And uh, there was that well, weird well, motherfucker. Don't, don't give it away. In case someone Dude, has not seen Sunshine. Yeah, if you haven't seen Sh Sunshine, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it for you. <laughs> but yeah, that was more of like a horror sci-fi. Yeah, it was like a horror sci-fi, which is kind of good. Um, my last one, I count this as sci-fi because mm -hmm. it's science fiction. <laughs> I, like you. I like how you... Uh, sci-fi? I think you could consider it science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I love this movie so much, I forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what's the this, man. what's the one with um jim carrey where he's in a reality show oh my god dude the truman show perfect love it so much i forgot the title damn dude i actually have that down as one of my favorite movies oh for real great performance by truman uh i mean truman, truman. <laughs> fucking jim truman jim you know truman. greatest comedian of all time <laughs> yeah that, that was a really good jim carrey movie i'm a big jim carrey fan actually yeah. so what about you? Uh, Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That one was really cool, I thought. Yeah, that was good. That's sci-fi. Boom. We're on the yeah. roll. Back to back to back sci-fi. 
Maybe you'll appreciate this. Napoleon Dynamite. I thought that was hilarious. I hated that movie. All right, great. <laughs> Let's just uh, pretend that never happened. It's okay. This is this is your list. Fuck my opinion. Does The Matrix count as sci-fi? Dude, The Matrix is the epitome of sci-fi. What That's does like sci-fi even mean, bro? asking if this cake is dessert. Uh, bro, I don't know what sci-fi is. But every time it's playing, we could be at a bar, and if it's like playing, yeah. you're like, oh, I got to watch. Yeah, fuck the Super Bowl. Put on The Matrix. Yeah, fuck the Super Bowl. <laughs> Just a couple of the ones. Seven was a really good movie. The one with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. That was actually really good. Oh, Benjamin uh, Button was also a really good movie. See, now it's like after I spin it, you're like, oh, wait, there are other movies I like. Yeah, but they're all sci fi. Is Benjamin. Oh, yeah, I guess that's yeah, of I course. Guess that is. Or a love story. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> love subplot. Uh, Pursuit of Happiness was great. What's Pursuit? You definitely seen a movie, but it's like Will Smith. He's like, I guess like a single dad now. He's poor as fuck and he's just trying to make it and stuff. Oh, I remember that movie. Will Smith was in the future and then everyone was a zombie. Yes, that's that's the one. Exactly. (laughs) And then he helps that fat guy, Kevin James. Yes, it was that great movie. I am Pursuit of Legend. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, A Lost in Translation. That was too boring past, but that was Asian-esque. He was in Japan. It was. And uh, Scar Johansson and Goodfellas. I enjoy good uh, mafia film. Yeah, that was good too. Next question. Oh, oh, it was something to the extent of how has this podcast changed your our friendship slash relationship? Uh, it definitely destroyed it. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because I couldn't hate you anymore, so I hate you just as much. Oh, so I just caught up then. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, see, so in some ways, this podcast made us very even. If anything, our hatred has bonded us together. Perfect. I think the biggest thing is, I definitely made me see how you conduct shit. By seeing me conduct shit, you mean uh, seeing me do all of your work? Yeah, I don't know, man. You just do it. And I'm just like, fuck. Am I missing half of a brain? Or <laughs> does Linji just have a bigger brain? I definitely do not have a bigger brain. I think the uh, more obvious answer is that you're lacking somewhere. And you're right, but it's like, it's just, it's just everything you do seems to just always make sense. And I'm just there squinting my eyes. It's like, no, nah, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's not right. It's fine, Ben. Just take off your pants. Don't worry. This is for <laughs> charity. Just take off your pants. Oh my God. Yeah. You <laughs> diabolical son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. But uh, it was for a good cause. So I'll give you that. You're always willing to take off your clothes for a good cause. You know what? You're right. To all the women named cause out there, please reach out to Ben. <laughs> I'm really appreciative of the podcast. And it goes back to like when we did the whole like year in review thing. Mm-hmm. I still feel the same exact way. I really do appreciate you and everything that you do. Are you buttering me up to ask me for my bank account number? Because I'm so tired. No, I already have that, dude. <laughs> All right, dude. I've been, I've been, I've been uh, skimming off your money already, man. So don't. It's okay. It's, it's such a large number that I can't tell. Yeah, exactly. Think of it as like, oh, it's a donation. <laughs> You're doing charity. Cents on the dollar. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Cents on the dollar. Says. Uh, what about you? I gotta ask you this. I feel like it's it's gonna hurt my feelings, but go. Wait. You're asking me a question. Oh, you asked me the same fucking question again. All right. I didn't give an answer. Oh, my God, dude. (laughs) Jesus Christ. It's getting later and later. My brain is uh, slowly shutting off. But yeah, what about you? We definitely talk a lot more. Yeah. You still ignore my text, which was the same as before. Oh, my dude. I'm not ignoring your text. I have not taken a step up in (sighs) priority in your life whatsoever. Yo. Oh, my God. Listen, as you hear this, who is on Team Ben right here? Who, who, Who thinks that Team Linji is being too hard on Team Ben? Uh, <laughs> Linji's like, oh, fuck that. I'm trying to think of something positive to say to you. Yeah, yeah. To reciprocate the nice words you said to me, but I cannot think of anything positive right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to just say Linji is, he hasn't slept for the past uh, 48 hours. Yo, props to all the single parents out there. We all knew it was hard for them, but uh, doing it for a couple of days, basically. Man. I don't want to ever get divorced. <laughs> Just shout out to your wife. Please don't divorce this man. He'll Please don't divorce so fuck. He's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. I can I ask the next question. This is a good one. Go for it. Oh shit! I can't remember. I gotta get my phone. Hold on. Oh, what's the most important thing you learned from a celebrity? No one asks us that. Oh, that's just you asking me. I'm just asking you, bro. 
uh, celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. I don't really follow the gossip column or you know celebrity news or athlete, just a public figure. Okay, this doesn't sound really weird. I hate people who have it all done well, telling me how to do it as well as they did. Because most of the time, they've done something that's super extraordinarily good that I cannot achieve. Does that make some kind of sense? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very eloquent. If Bill Gates tells you some advice, is that really good advice? Okay, so let's just say hypothetically, right? We'll use fucking Bill Gates, right? Fuck Bill Gates. We need someone Asian. We have to stay on brand. Um, who's a rich ass Asian? Jack Ma. Jack Ma. Perfect. Yo, so like even Jack Ma, you know, he talks about like he failed everything that he did. Every job he did, he failed. Mm -hmm. He was just like saying like how it's okay to fail. It just means that you're still looking for what you're looking for. So you should never give up on yourself. And sometimes, you know, you kind of need to hear that kind of stuff. But do you ever feel like too much motivational bullshit kind of like devalues <laughs> the advice? Do you feel like in general because of like social media that we have so much of this excess motivation? Yeah. I think you have more of a problem with, I think there's some people that do it for clout. You know, they're just doing it to get rich. Mm -hmm. But then there's genuinely people out there that genuinely do care about your well-being, mm -hmm. you know, and try to take like a personal take. I think good advice, genuine good advice only comes from someone that actually cares about you. Okay. When I see the same advice from a celebrity, it doesn't resonate with me as opposed to when I hear a similar thing from someone that's in my circle, that's in my life. But you don't think you could like draw inspiration from something like that? I kind of have that same feeling with is like when I see really fit people. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the exception because you, they, you could see their body. Unless they're seven feet ultra jacked. Not going to happen, obviously, but technically, I could get that fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to like when Jack Ma gives you good advice, there's no fucking way I'm ever going to become a billionaire. As soon as you said about the fit guy, dude, like David Goggins is literally like the epitome of that. Oh, he's super fit. Dude, he's super fit and he's like, stop being a bitch. Like his, his motivation <laughs> is like, stop being a bitch. You know, you only live once out here. All right. If I could do it, you could do it. I feel like I would vibe well with this guy. He's uh, definitely no joke. Next question. We're running long on time and I don't want to edit too much bullshit. Yeah, I was going to say it's already. Someone did ask us, uh, what is something that's always in your fridge? Uh, kimchi. Done. <sighs> that's like the most default Korean answer ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You go. This is not one thing, but I always have on hand in my fridge the ability to have a full hot pot meal. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to go back to the episode of uh, about the money. <laughs> this is not about fucking money. Bro, did you just hear so that? You just literally did like a low-key humble flex there. That's Wait, what you how, just did. How? How? You said that you have all the ingredients yes. necessary yes. to make a hot pot. Yes. And hot pot consists of many shits. Such as? Fish balls. Have those in the freezer. Bok choy. Cabbage. Sliced meat. Yeah, in the freezer. You know, maybe sliced seafood. You know, different types of noodles. Shrimp. Yeah, in the freezer. There's always enough shit in the fridge to make hot pot. So if you had to make like a doomsday shelter, you would have... Hot pot. I gotta have like a hot pot kit. A whole hot pot kit, including the pot, the uh, portable stove, the butane tanks. I got all that. Okay, all right. I do have that too. See? I do have that too. I bet you technically, if you wanted to make a Korean hot pot right now, you probably could. That's so racist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But you know you could always find in a Korean fridge? Kimchi, gochujang... Fermented so uh, soybean paste, dried uh, I anchovies? Know, anchovies. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, we'll call it anchovies. Um, I know you have that probably like little uh, fermented shrimp. Yeah, those tiny ass shrimp. So if you're ever like breaking into someone's house and you open the fridge and you see that, you're like, oh, this guy's Korean. <laughs> you could probably smell it right away. Or you could tell by the Hyundai that's in the driveway. <laughs> Someone asked who is the better dancer. I think this has to be related to that video I posted on Instagram recently. Yeah, dude, when you posted that, I was like, oh my god. What? <laughs> yeah, I was just cracking up. By the way, that uh, wedding was years ago, pre-COVID. So for anyone who thinks we're going to like these giant parties. Linji's lying. It was a charity event that he threw. Tux event. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can clearly tell at the past because yeah. you were much skinnier. God damn, you're right. Yo, when I was looking at that, I think that's what I was like. God damn, my arms actually go down to the side. They don't go around <laughs> me anymore. I was like, shit. You're like physically a different shape turning into like i'm just like a blob 
So who is the better dancer, you or me? You have some moves. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. Not at all. You have some moves, bro. You do. But I want to say I am. I'm the better dancer. But that's just. I'm gonna say it's you too, because clearly you go out to the music lounges more than I do. <laughs> I like how like I I do that, and you're the one that got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, no, it's not me. It's not the Chinese guy. <laughs> it's not the Chinese. Now we're under. Yeah. Court. <coughs> oh, shit, oh, 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 oh. Red-handed. <laughs> Call red-handed. You saw it live here, folks. <laughs> CNN exclusive. I'm coughing because it's so fucking late at night and, and my body is its deprived of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pet peeve that you have? Did I ask you this question already? Am I half asleep? Dude, we did guilty pleasure. We did guilty pleasure. Pet peeve. Oh, when people so, uh, don't say thank you? I guess that counts. Does that really bother you that much? Oh, you know, you know what is a pet peeve? I don't tolerate people when I see people snapping their finger to get someone's attention. That triggers me. What about you? Poor people? (laughs) (laughs) If that was the case, I wouldn't be your friend. (laughs) (laughs) Then he's just, uh, he's like, yo, you're not my tax bracket, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You're not my tax bracket. (laughs) I hate people who take out something, use it, and just leave it without putting it back. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. I need to say this because in case my wife listens to this part, Uh-oh. I also do this from time to time and I am not mm-hmm. saying this about you, mm-hmm. probably. In general, <laughs> I just met with people. I don't like how they take out something, they use it, and they don't just put it back relatively quickly. Oh, well said, sir. Touche. I'll give you that. You said <laughs> relatively quickly because you're like, no, I knew you were going to do it. Just if you could just do it faster. Like I said, I can't be a single father. I'm going to die. So I don't need to get divorced. <laughs> exactly. It's like, yo, I know you didn't put it back for three days, but I knew you were going to do it eventually. <laughs> you know, the milk was, you were going to put the milk back. I know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes when people don't say thank you or like, I just don't like it. When- you literally said that two minutes ago. Oh, did I? <laughs> No, I said snapping fingers. No, but before that, you said it. Oh, I did? Okay, okay. Are you awake? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Who's not. more sleepy right now, you or me? Oh, definitely you. <laughs> definitely you. Oh, how about this? I couldn't think of this one, but what would be the perfect crime? We can tie this into another question that I wanted to ask you. Like, what would be like a dumb superpower or a good superpower that you would want to have? Okay. I always thought if I had a superpower that was good, it'd be like teleporting. Because what's my first thought about teleporting? That's not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You could get to places, obviously, faster. No, I could like teleport and take money from a bank or something. Oh, I see. So you'll be the villain. Is that the villain? Oh, oh yeah. Going to a bank to steal money. Is, <laughs> you're right. That's being a superhero. You're right. I, I totally forgot about that. That's what Batman does. Actually. He, robs, <laughs> he robs banks. I forgot. Why do you think Batman is so rich? <laughs> He's clearly not taking care of his company. He's clearly not taking care <laughs> of his company. Hey, I'm the comic book reader here, okay? Oh, uh, that's true. That's true. Do you have a be- Do you have a good crime? What's the perfect crime? Yeah. Ah, uh, dude, I, I don't know, bro. That's the thing. I'm too stupid and lazy, so I'll get caught. <laughs> it's like that dumbass I was like speeding through traffic, and then he was signaling every turn he was making when the cops were chasing him. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Dude, there's a video. There's a fucking dash cam out there. So there's someone being chased by a cop, and he's yes. signaling every turn he's making. Yes. Were you in the driver's seat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, this was last week, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what about uh, superpowers? What's a good or a dumb superpower that you would like to have? I was actually hoping you were going to say a dumb superpower. But, okay, uh, what's the dumbest superpower that, w- that you would like to have? You know when you're waiting for an elevator? Yeah. You have to actually go to and press the button. I'd yeah. be like, oh, I need the elevator. So once I go out, they'll be right there ready for me. You don't want to walk six feet to press the button. Dude, elevators take mad long, bro. Is it because you're too busy holding your pint of ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's melting. Actually, that's what it is. I'm downstairs. I'm like, yo, this shit is melting. I need to go up there. And I need to like pound this shit out. <laughs> um, What else is there? I always thought about like if I could make dust disappear. Because <laughs> I fucking hate dusting the house. Uh, just for, for viewers out there. So before we set up for the podcast, uh, Linji has like a little check to do list of things that we need to uh, turn off because he fucking lives like Tony Starks. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You just have like mad shit going on. You have the fucking Zoom thing that talks to you. It's like, good morning, Linji. How are you? And then 
he has like three of those. What do you call that? Roomba shits? Yeah. Robot vacuums? Yeah. I'm like, must be nice because I have to do it myself. <laughs> what are you, like a peasant? Yeah. Linji has like an army of them. Like Tony Stark has like all these Iron Man suits. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just dusters and shit. I don't know where the dust comes from. Have you ever thought about the fact that like how much time do people waste just cleaning, cleaning. up the same room and space just to make it, it the same exact way that it was a day or two ago? And the funny thing is, like, you can't see it, but if you clean it, you're like, oh, fuck, see, I knew it. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, the worst is when you're cleaning, and you're like, what the hell? How's it dirtier? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, that shouldn't even be a thing. Okay, well, let me just look through these questions. I'm going to call it right now. You know how you said, like, yo, this episode might be blah, blah, I think this one might be the worst. <laughs> we got to pump out this content. <laughs> we got to pump out this, con- <laughs> this hot, This hot content. This episode is just us, me and Linji, just on the couch watching television <laughs> and just talking shit. Oh, and in some ways, you guys can see what uh, real life Ben and Linji is like. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. This is me being very tired. What are you right now? I don't even know what you are. I'm, I'm just frazzled right now. Are you going somewhere after this? It's 11 p.m. So definitely. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. On a Sunday, of on course. On a Sunday. <laughs> on the Lord's Day. <laughs> on the Lord's Day. You know when like The Rock wakes up at like 4 in the morning to work out? Mm-hmm. Ben gets up at 11 p.m. To go to, to the party. music lounge. That's uh, that's dedication, man. What's your breakfast at 11 p.m.? Pint of ice cream. Pint of ice cream, a glass of Jameson neat, followed by a fruit platter. <laughs> what? Okay, one final question. Uh, this is actually a real question. What annoys you the most about each other? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know you say out of like goodwill. You're like that fucking too honest of a dick dad. So like when you're trying to give like good advice, I know it's you caring, but it's also at the expense where like, wow, I feel like a piece of shit still. <laughs> <laughs> is the advice at least still good? Oh, yeah. You give great as advice. Sometimes it's so good. I'm like, fuck. I can't even refute it because I want to give you like a bullshit Ben excuse. Yeah. But it's like, no, just be a man. You know what to do. And I'm like, God damn it. I was like, this motherfucker. Number one, it's not coming from a place of goodwill. Wow. There you go. Great. Go fuck yourself. I'm just spitting facts. (laughs) Just spitting facts. That's all it is. You know what's the best thing you told me though? What? When you said, trust, but verify. I'm amazed you've never heard that prior to me telling that to you. All right, viewers, we need some feedback about that. Ask this question. I'll post this on social media somewhere. Have you ever heard the phrase, trust but verify? Yeah, I start saying it because of you, you know that? <laughs> and people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? I gotta trust you, but I gotta fucking make sure still. <laughs> that doesn't mean you trust me. You can trust someone, but you just gotta fucking make sure. I, I know what you mean. Though. You're saying like, you can trust me, but you have to absolutely make sure. No, no, no. I don't trust you. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> With you, it's a uh, don't trust and then verify <laughs> and then keep verifying because he's not fucking picking up the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> what's something about you that i don't like that annoys me the most i think there's a lot <laughs> you know what i think this whole episode has been that question <laughs> 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 it's like i was answering the whole question throughout the episode right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right fuck it we weren't gonna do this but we're gonna do this anyways what? Moving on to our favorite segment of the podcast. <laughs> oh, what we are? <laughs> this felt like a rant. This was an episode of ranting and raving. Favorite segment of every podcast, even the shitty B grade podcast episodes. Ranting and raving. None of us prepare for this segment at all. No, so. I totally. Yeah, I gotta go through my shit now. You go first, Ben. All right, thanks, man. Um, this is gonna be a shout out to the to the OG drink of all time. All the delis, the bodegas, the Seven Elevens. Do a big shout out to uh, Arizona Ice Tea oh. for keeping a 99 cents still. Still, I have no idea how that's possible. Someone had the same thought and they actually asked a guy. It's like a family from Brooklyn that owns that company. Did you know that? Okay, we should say that to our international listeners. It's this tall can of iced tea and it's <laughs> and it's 99 cents. And it's fucking delicious. It is very delicious. They're saying like, yeah, we just keeping it that. We make enough money. It's nice that like it's not like one oh nine, you know what I'm saying? It's still that good old ninety nine cents. Like, have you ever seen like some bodegas? They actually try to charge you more than ninety nine cents, and that is specifically why that company prints ninety nine cents onto the can itself, and they don't oh, leave it blank. Sh- part of the actual can. Yeah, and also it's not even just like a 
a 12 ounce can. What is it like a 24 ounce? Yeah, it's a two 12 ounce cans. That's how math works. Oh, uh, thank you. So, <laughs> so I just want to give a shout out to them. You guys are the realists. Love you guys for that. I have a raving, but it's more like a life tip, I guess. Mister, yo, I don't believe in giving off life tip. Fuck it. <laughs> that was 10 p.m. Linji. This is oh 11 p.m. Linji. Where is Linji? I'm a different person. <laughs> If you have coffee, let's say you're really tired, right? Make a cup of coffee or an espresso, drink it, chug it, then take a half an hour nap. By the time you wake up, the caffeine should kick in and you will have had a nap. I, I've, I've heard about that too, but I feel like I couldn't do it. Why? Have you done that? Yeah. For real? What I used to do is sometimes when I would drive around at my old job and I had you'll, some life. You'll fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Let the coffee drive the car. <laughs> All right, guys. This was a weird episode. Terrible idea. <laughs> Definitely a horrible idea. <laughs> it came at the absolute worst timing. I mean, technically, we have another backup episode, but that's the one that you're playing with so that you can learn how to edit a podcast. Oh, yeah. Find out who <laughs> edited the episode. You could tell. Did Ben do it? Did if you, you guys it? ever hear another episode and we don't tell you in advance as a <sighs> disclaimer that it's a shitty episode and it turns out to be shitty... It's probably Ben's editing. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, blame Ben. So if uh, you guys enjoy this episode, I guess you're just longtime hardcore fans of us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the fans. Man. If this is your first episode and you're listening to this, please, we have better stuff in the backlog. Uh, yo, I was just going to say, well, yeah, if you're hearing this one right now, please yeah, explore the episodes. Do you think this would have been better if we did it earlier? During the day? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. You and I can always make crappy material work, but now I realize I have to be awake to do that. You know what's funny, dude? How you are is how I feel when we do the episode. I'm the one coming early. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> oh, shit. This is what Ben is doing. <laughs> Yo, this is what you feel like all the time? Yeah, because like, I'll get home at like 1, you know, and like, if we have to do 10, sometimes you want me to come early, especially the interviews. Oh, my God. How do you live life like this? The fact that you feel this way and you still put out decent material on most of our regular episodes, yep. I give you a uh, A+. Plus. <laughs> Next time I see you, just remind me that I tip you. Dude, it's okay. I'm going to just take more off the money I'm skimming off of you already. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're good. <laughs> I need to change my bank account numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so this was, a, this was a new, interesting new way of training an episode. Uh, we're not doing this shit again. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to lie. I don't even want to stop this because I want to just ask you more questions because, like, you're so, like, out of it that I think it's funny. It's like, let's ask questions to Linji while he's exhausted. You get to ask me one question, go. Oh, um, what's it? A guest asked, how big is uh, Linji's penis? Okay, if you guys uh, want to follow <laughs> us on a daily basis, please uh, follow us on our social medias. We're on every single social media at the handle Worst Asian Pod. <laughs> Uh, we love it when you slide into our DMs uh, non-sexually with full consent, please. We like getting feedback from our audience. And um, oh, the more money... Excuse me. Not money. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you going with that? <laughs> I feel like I'm back at my old job right now. And the more money... <laughs> the more positive feedback you can give us. Yeah. <laughs> you are blanking so hard. <laughs> this is... Not, okay, I changed my mind. I actually, I'm thoroughly enjoying this episode now. This this is actually getting very funny. What do I usually say at the end? Um, give Ben money. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, it'll be a regular episode. Hopefully, I will be out of quarantine. Yes. If not, then you're in for another one of these bullshit episodes. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Oh, God. Bye, guys. Love you.